Yeah, but you seen the duck? He ain't over here barring something else. He done got. Calm Never mind. Down. Let me go see if I got no duct tape. I don't think I do. I don't know if we do. I know we got electric tape.
I don't know. I'm always happy. Anytime I'm at the racetrack, I'm happy. Last night, Carl made the best pass ever. I said, we had never went that fast. Straight as an arrow. I don't even think it much lifted the front wheels up. And uh, 10 miles an hour faster than what it was over in, in Ennis two weeks ago. So, uh, so the converter said, uh, weren't. The converter made the difference. And we've been fighting this converter, I guess, you know, probably for a couple years. But it's just kind of hard to take a $2,000 part that you ordered for the car, everything, weight and everything, take it out and throw it in the corner and try another one, you know? Yeah. I'm broke anyway, I can't afford that. So, uh, Kai Kenner let me borrow one of his converters and they had, it's a boat together that had like four different stators to go in it. So I put the tightest stator in it he had. I think it was, the converter was slipping, we were blowing through the converter, that was obvious in, in Ennis, Texas. Yeah. So uh, I put the sprag or, or uh, we tightened the converter up as tight as we could get it. Last night, Boom, straight down the track, prettiest pass it's ever made. I, Cause I don't even think it picked the front wheels up. But uh, of course, it was 130 miles an hour. It never got that fast before. Yeah, that was but, the uh, fastest mile. Well, an naturally, hour. it was it was straight as an arrow. So well, my next move now is uh, let's change the fuel system. See if we can't get a little bit more out of it. So uh, I put a little more fuel to it. Went out there a while ago. Fell on his face. Naturally, fell on his face. It was. I think it went a 59 or something like that. It's terrible. Yeah. But, uh, it, it, it really ain't terrible. I know. Now that I know that, I got that data, I don't have to worry about ever going back that way with that fuel system again. Yeah. I'm going to start going back the other way. And we just see, now that it's going straight, I mean, we can kind of tweak with things. I don't expect to set a record every time it goes out there. If you do that, you chase it up. That's like a dog chasing the long tail. It don't happen in drag racing. Yeah, misfit yeah. wouldn't look like misfit two years from now oh, either. <laughs> but I mean, you know, it's, uh, it's kind of, old cars come a long way since we started on it a long ways. And we having so much fun out here, it don't really matter. I'm just happy to be here with these guys, you know. Yep. And, uh, you know Ronnie Sandiford and all we got right next to us. We always carry on the ones that jump from each other. But uh, anyway, I put the fuel system back where it was last night, and uh, I, we hadn't got away to having to drive it around, so I'm, I guess it got pretty hot right now. I'm letting it cool off. I may actually skip the next round and go right off into the elevation later. I put the fuel system back where it was last night. Yeah. Now, I, Kind of like see where it does, like I say it's hot. It was cool last night, but uh, I mean, but that's the way you find out, man. You just keep making passes and you get there the spirits under your belt. Like I say, with, with it actually going straight and hooking up, and uh, it's kind of like a whole other car now. So yep. I got, uh, we got a whole, a whole bunch of different things to do to it and play with it. And the 60 foot is exactly the same with this converter as the loose converter. I put a tight converter in at 60 foot the same. It didn't hurt the 60 foot. Yeah. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if I can't tighten that converter up a little more. You know? Right, you could, so yeah. I run all this through my head and call a few people that know more than me and yeah. and uh, and listen to what they got to say and you know, and we'll have a we'll have a good time no matter what. Like I say, man, I just got I met Rocky Perone. And they, they guys is all legends are here, they're all here, Funny Car Chaos and uh, I, you hear me say it all the time, but I really can't give Chris Gray's enough credit for putting this program together. So he just got a bunch of racers out. And yesterday we talked to uh, Al Hopper's son. Yeah. Who never thought such? So? He's got he got his dad's old car out here running it just like it was in 1995. You'll see yeah. it on another one of your videos and you know man it just does my heart good to see this stuff again. But I say we didn't do too good on that pass but hey it's back in one piece and uh we'll, we'll try it again anyway we'll take another shot here in a little while anyway yep. and, and see what happens with the thing.
first year I ran KS, I did the Dodge Omni China Syndrome yeah. tribute. Not many people knew I'll, that. I'll remember that call. That was more like us older guys that kind of remember that one. So last year, then I kind of did my own thing with a Dodge Daytona, and I wanted to do something where we could have him remembered. Yeah. So this was the most famous car that I thought he had, the 1995 Western Auto Car. Yeah. It's the year that was finished second in the points for the World Championship for NHRA. Yeah. So I figured this would be the most recognizable, and people would know it. So I wanted yeah, to do I this tribute car. Came, I came yeah. He was one of my heroes. I, I, I tell everybody, my uncle put me off on the side of the highway out here in 1978, and I walked in as a teenager. I thought I was in heaven. I mean, I hear the Blue Max and all these guys. Oh, here yeah. And your dad and them out here. Cool. This stuff's things. great because there's a lot of diversity of different cars, different yeah. combinations, yeah. all this yeah. stuff. So it gives everybody a place to race. It, it really does. I mean, this is a great program. I'm glad yeah. to see this car back out here. Oh, yeah, everybody this loves it, so they get a lot of compliments on it. Unfortunately, we had a little incident in Dallas. I, think I blew I the burst panel off and we got a crack right in yeah. front of the body. Oh, oh. Yeah. That is our spare motor because I grenaded the A motor down in oh, Dallas. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Two dollar part got us. Oh. That's what happens. We do everything to, to have preventative maintenance, but still get you no matter what it you happens. do. It happens. It happens. New yeah. parts break too. Yeah. Well, we got a spare motor in here. We got it back down for this weekend. A lighter feel here than there was in Dallas. Dallas, I think we had 53 cars here. I think we got a 20 here, a little bit over. So we don't need to run as hard here this weekend until I get the other motor because I like to always run as hard as I can. You got to stay on it, you know, you can't have it. You got to. That's your dad showing up, isn't Yeah, yeah. Well, he's, he's, he's throwing a few swear words out there. Where's the Hemi? Where's the Nitro? Yeah. <laughs> You gonna understand that. It's not in here. <laughs> we don't have it in the pockets to do yeah. that. No, this is great because it's affordable. Anybody can do anything they want. If you got the money and you want to run nitro, run nitro. You want to run alcohol, run alcohol. You want to run turbo. Main thing, have fun. Anything you want. Oh, yeah. Have fun. Come out here. I get away out here to be stress free from work. That's what I was telling my girlfriend about. I think it's a military phrase or something that actually calm in the chaos or something like that. Yeah. You actually find calm and all this crap going on. It's a little okay. chaotic sometimes too. When, when you can kind of get yourself back in, you gather your thoughts, I guess, when all this yeah. stuff is going on. Especially, I couldn't imagine being coming here. This I love this. I've been doing this since I was born. My dad's racing since 1967, and I was born in '68. So, and then I took a little break for a while. He died. Yeah. I better get back into it. It's now or never. I'm not getting any younger. So here we are. Yeah. Well, man, we sure appreciate you bringing it down this part of the country. So, thank you. I know y'all come on a pretty good little ride for you, wasn't it? It's a good ride. So, uh, thankfully enough, this year with one of my sponsors, Brett Spell, we get to leave everything at his house for these three races. Oh, yeah, so, it breaks up the driving a lot and save a lot of gas. That'll work. Less time lost at work. Fly in, <laughs> fly back out. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Man, yeah, it's, I mean, it's so beautiful. Good. It's just like I remember it. Like I say, it's up. Yeah, it's very close. It's actually a 1995 Firebird body. It is a great year. It just wasn't our car. Yeah, that car went on to be just true. Yeah. Uh, the really only difference is we put spell paving where Swift 50 was on. Uh, yeah. But then that flag, everything's the same on this car. This is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. 